Joe Biden ran to be a president for all Americans, a president who supports LGBTQ people. I'm going to pass and sign the Equality Act protecting sexual orientation and gender identity. That was no malarkey. President Biden issued the most substantive LGBTQ executive order in history, protecting Americans from discrimination based on who you are or whom you love. He repealed Trump's transgender troop ban because nothing should stop you from serving your country. And that was just the first week. He's uh, building a diverse team of people that look like America. Hi, Peter Buttigieg. Congratulations, Mr. Secretary. Congratulations. I believe schools should offer the opportunity for students to engage in extracurricular activities, even if they're transgender. I think that's their right. I'm also issuing a presidential memo to agencies to reinvigorate our leadership on the LGBTQI issues and do it internationally. The president's belief is that uh, trans rights are human rights. The new Biden administration is taking steps to stop discrimination against members of the LGBTQ community in the housing sector, prohibiting discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity. Mr. Biden has nominated Pennsylvania Health Secretary Dr. Rachel Levine to be his assistant secretary of health. She would become the first openly transgender federal official. I am both humbled by the opportunity and ready for the job. And now it's time for the Equality Act. The House has passed the Equality Act, a top legislative priority for the Biden administration. Democrats control the Senate, but it still needs 60 votes to break a legislative filibuster. We've gotten this far in 46 days. Imagine what we can do in four years, together. While I may be the first woman in this office, I will not be the last. Together, we shall write an American story of hope not fear. At the Human Rights Campaign, we're building a nationwide movement to demand equality. Join us.